What's up my little cat travelers and welcome back to another Eden guys. We got a brand new update today. Yay! Well I mean we got we got a, a notice for our for a brand new update guys today. And uh guess who's uh guess who's uh guess who, who who we are getting? We are getting one of my favorite characters, one of Silver's favorite characters design wise, we are getting another style Radias guys. Um Super excited, guys! Actually, um, if you guys watched the um, Scott's update earlier today, uh, he talked about it, and we're getting uh, we're getting her super super soon in uh, four days, actually. So uh, yeah, look 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 at that design, guys! Like, it's beautiful. It's it's so cool. Really love uh, really love like the braided hair. Love the armor. It's it, it's it's a really really cool design. Um, all right, guys. So we got a new encounter, guys. I'm gonna read it because uh, I'm excited. I offer you this light, the fire that burns my soul. I may not be much, but I will dedicate my hall. Sworn of the Sword of Hope, Radius. So she looks amazing. So guys, you probably noticed um, she is a sword user, obviously. Um, she wears a bangle. She's also big shocker, guys. Fire unit. I know, right? Like you guys were not expecting that. <laughs> So um, her um, her AS is called Flare Knights. Obvious, not obviously, but it kind of makes sense, right? Fire and everything. So uh, yeah, so you know, I will be pulling for you guys, and Silver and I will be dis discussing our look um, at that time. But so far, guys, to me, it's a win. Classic JRPG design. Really, really love it. So. Let's get started, guys. Um, obviously, she's a tank, which is kind of cool that we're bringing back the tank meta a little bit. It's fun to have units that are more tanky, even though the game does not really work like that right now. It's more like kind of like glass cannon-ish. Anyway, that's how I play, but it's kind of cool to have a uh, different way to play it. So let me read her description. A female swordman who carries one massive blade, another hidden blade. She makes her living as a mercenary. She claimed that she hails from the kingdom of the Miglands, but nobody can confirm this. And even her memory seems to be clouded. There are many rumors swirling about her, but all of them are nothing more than speculation. Sweet! Alright, she uh she looks she looks super nice, guys. So um Alright, so I'm gonna go start with um with her skill. So guys, she um No big surprise, guys, she has a uh the dazzling slash stance, which is a pretty neat, actually. So uh, you know, she has a slash stance. Everyone kind of know what it does, and also restore party members thirty percent max HP level one, up to fifty for level three. So that's pretty good. She also has some passive skill uh, called uh, battle uh, battle start rage, which is inflict rage on uh, on all enemy, and she also has something called Aegis stacking that gives you three Aegis probably for our abilities. All right, guys. She has a couple of uh, a couple of interesting skills. So her first skill is called Chivalry. Primitive active guards on user until the end of turn. Gar guards all HP and MP damage and knockback effect received. Party re redirected to the user. When caster is not under any disabled status, activate constant all ground. Replace the basic attack when user possesses egg stack, and it consume egg stack. So she's kind of uh, that little aliens um, we got from the Chrono Cross. Ability, which means that you know she has whole ground. She's she's there. She's there to take the hit, guys. That's why she. I was about to say that's why she has a shield, but like on her image, her shield is on the floor for some reason. But yeah, so all of her damage, all, all of, like, everyone's damage is gonna get um you know to, uh, towards her. So that's pretty cool. Her first skill is called Crimson Sword. Damage on user thirty percent and fire type slash attack of all enemy medium. When in that lane slash ten, powers and intelligence of all enemies minus fifteen percent. Um, all right, she takes more damage and does a uh, fire type slash attack. Interesting. Spinning edge, slash attack of all enemy times two, small. Simple. Elemental barrier, that's kind of cool for um, uh, enemies with a lot of like magical status. Elemental barrier, type resistance of all penny members plus 50% for three turns, inflict rage, ignore target resistance. Pretty, pretty good. All right, now we're getting some juicy stuff. Absorb blood. Primitive, inflict pains of all enemy three turns in order target resistance and rest, restore HP user by 50%. When in dazzling stands, increase amount restore, restore to full. So kind of cool actually, kind of cool. Uh, Berserk Rush, damage on user plus 30% and fire type slash on single enemy times four, medium. 
Sword of Fire, damage of user plus 30% and fire type slash of all enemy extra large when in dazzling slash dense power and intelligence of all enemy minus 20%. So she has a bunch of debuff. All right, our last two skill guys, Overwhelm, power of all enemies minus 30% for three turns for a maximum of three stacks for 60% and give barrier to all party members with 70% damage reduction for one time. Wow, that's pretty good. When in any stance, give user shield, which HP equal to max user HP for three turns. Shield HPs get depleted before the user HP. So, once again, guys, you give her a bunch of HP badges, a bunch of items that give you HP and HP regen to give her as many HP as possible to have the biggest berry ever. And our last stance, guys, our last skill, sorry, Prominence Purge. Primitive fire slash attack of all enemy exile and inflict rage for five turn, ignore resistance. Physical resistance of user plus 70%, status immunity to all party members one time. When in zone, activate counter attack. When physical or magical attack, restore all party member HP plus 50%, restore all party members MP plus 50%, and give status immunity. This is exactly what I meant by the little blue aliens. He has a similar skill, if I'm not mistaken, that um, every time he gets attacked by physical damage, I believe, uh, he heals the party. So, all right, guys. That's uh, not the most crazy kit characters, but it's good to have like a solid tank. Also, um, she's just a beautiful character to look at. Um, I love her sprite. I love her little face. I really love her haircut. Uh, I don't know. To me, she's she's just cute. I, she's, she's just awesome. Oops, sorry about that. Um, yeah. So actually, um, I, I'm waiting for her um, for her for her little characters. Um, all right, guys. So I'm gonna. Um, Alright, so, so yeah, she seems pretty, pretty good, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna read real quick, guys, the battle tips from, uh, back here from the, um, from the video, guys, so I don't know if you watched it, if you did not, I suggest watching it, they're super nice with Scott, but otherwise, let me read what he has to say about, uh, Radius. So, she grants guard to herself for, prim uh, primitive for three times only, prominence purge, deal a flash, flash, slash attack, exile, and rage. Um, in addition, Prominence Purge perform a follow-up attack that recovers 15% of HP and 15% of MP and grants status immunity. That's one of her skills. Combiner skill allow her to, for, to both tanks and prevent attack on her allies by directing attack to herself or, while reducing the damage she takes. Which is pretty cool. If you can send your ground, you can protect your allies. So I would suggest, guys, to give her like whole grounds and all the HP in the world. That would be that would be my uh, That would be my take. Um so yeah, that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much our characters, guys, that we are getting. Um, so obviously, guys, she's pretty much built for like bosses or characters or, or enemies that focus on a single target, not so much as like AOE attack. So anything that's like you know, kind of like one versus versus four, like hey, any enemies that like have like strong uh, single damage would be a good um, actually would be a good fit for your party. Um, so which is which is pretty good or like any any character uh, any bosses that do that hits you with like massive massive damage or like massive massive attack um, she, she, she's, she's gonna be there for you all right what else do we have on an update guys we also got a uh, an unexplored land totos theaters world these are exploration content that are available in another dungeon complete to uh, the given mission to open up the exit door one red key is required to access the total theater world upon completing the total theater world characters that join your party via any form of sir progression from who are currently in your party have a chance to gain light or shadow points that's uh that's is interesting i just want to read that upon completing That's kind. Of, that's kind of cool. So, hopefully, it's also characters that um, we got with the with the Gasha system, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'm also getting an update for explanation for the counter attack mechanic, which is pretty cool. Um, a bunch of like uh, once again campaign information, uh, campaign information, guys, with a Chrono Stone. Little update on that. Um, a new ca a new campaign that grants reward for escaping the Twisted Maze for escape. 50 Chrono Stones, again, escape 100 Stone. Third escape, 150 Stone. So, if you guys haven't done the maze, which is super fun, guys, do it. You get a bunch of Stone, which is pretty neat. And besides that, a bunch of bug fixes. And then I think that's it for now. 
not the biggest update guys but still a fun one a welcoming one they've been uh they've been kind of like you know spending out update after update after update which is kind of cool because you know massive content is always welcome um and always makes me happy so guys that's uh that's her so if you have any uh comment guys please leave them below and if you guys planning on if you guys are planning to uh you know pull on her please leave a comment in the comment below and if you like what i do guys please like to and subscribe to my page and i'll see you guys next time for more or another eden update bye bye